Previously and, um, on last out week's of his, episode. Uh, normal habitat, you get. What's up, YouTube? It's the Solution for the Solution for Kicks. Back with another video. We're doing this back to back, y'all. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things. And you too can be a part of the Four Kicks Brigade. So I'm right back at it, like a craftmatic. Don't get spatic. Pull. No, I'm stop. Let me, let me stop doing that. But let's get into it and talk about a sneaker. I just showed you all these, okay? This weekend, another sneaker release, and it had a little buzz going on for it, but you, you know how the sneaker game is. If the sneaker is widely available, people don't want it because they want to make money off the shoe. Not necessarily say, hey, that's a dope shoe, I'm gonna rock that, but hey, how can I make a buck off this sneaker? And guess what? There are a lot of resellers out here upset right now because they can't get rid of this shoe because it's widely available and people are going why would i pay you 50 extra dollars if i can get this shoe for 160 and guess what i might have a coupon and a discount that i can put on the shoe so why would i do that that makes no sense stay over there that's not a diss to resellers that's just how it is all right because you merely cop the sneaker so you can sell it so now you're upset that you can't move this shoe you're gonna be big mad and what they're gonna be little mad so let's talk about it. My goodness. Yo, I I'm telling you. I said in the last video, are we saturating this color blocking? Are we doing, are we getting too many of these? And part of me says yes, and part of me says I really don't care because I love it. I told you how I feel about this the uh, Chicago colorway. I don't care, I like it. You throw it on most shoes, I'm fine with it. Once again, boom. Once again, boom, okay? Then you have the not for resales floating around out there and correct me if I'm wrong, there's another one with that color block and talk to me down here in the comment section. You know how we do it. I love to answer your questions, you make you reply to your statements, whatever it is. All right, as long as it's in good taste, if it's not in good taste, I will ignore you. You know how we do it on. We don't do the trolling and the spam stuff. There's plenty of platforms that you can have tons of fun with, but over here you're gonna gain no traction. Everybody else is going to ignore you as well, because that's what we do. Mature, good, informative content. You want to be foolish and wilding out and all that stuff, there's plenty of platforms for it. That's what they specialize in. Not here. Just not my thing. But let's talk about this shoe. The Air Jordan 1 Fearless Ha in the OG cut and all that good stuff. And you're saying, well, we had the defiance. Why would we do this? And we came back with this. This is a far too similar sneaker. It's different. Even in quality, it's different. The quality versus the Defiant is noticeably different. This is a well-made sneaker that's widely available. If you haven't gotten a pair of these and you're on the fence, you're going, hey, I think I'm going to wait for these to go on sale. You know something? It's going to be a traversity if these things go on sale and hit outlets. I'm, I'm telling you. And all it is is because of the the lack of people being able to sell them. The demand isn't there. Oh, everybody got them. I don't want them. That's, that's like, okay, there's air. Everybody's breathing. You don't want to breathe, but it's, it's incredible that you are hardly able to breathe, but everybody was, yeah, see, I, yeah, but whatever. Whatever, bad analogy, but you see what I'm talking about. It makes no sense. Yes. Okay. I am in the sneaker game because I like sneakers. Now to inform you, you go back in the video, go, ah, the solution, you sold, yeah. I have sold some sneakers that I purchased, but not for the sole purpose of reselling, except for the Obsidians. I will say that I bought two pair because I knew I could get another pair and I knew I could sell them. All right, word to my, um, word to my battle buddy was there with me that very, very early morning. But back to the shoe, very, very well made. Awesome quality. I am not gonna leave the red laces in here. I'm gonna put the black laces on there that says, you know, look, man wasn't meant to fly. Man, my eyes. Whew. Who said man wasn't meant to fly? I got lights in here. Another thing too, if you haven't followed me, I do wear glasses now. Probably need to put them on. Probably need to put them on, honestly, y'all. Because I'm struggling right now. But 
Oh yeah, there we are. So if the glare from my key light is hitting my glasses, I apologize. But I'm hurting over here, y'all. I'm getting old and I don't see as well as I used to. Doc said, hey, uh, the solution. I mean, government name, I'm not gonna tell you. He said, you, you, you're gonna need some glasses, man. All right, especially when you read. Your eyes aren't what they used to be. So the official name, Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, black, gym red, and white. What do they say on this box? White and sail. Okay, well, this is the wrong shoe. This, the box is for those. Let me correct myself. All right, what do these say? Black, tour, yellow, and white. So slight differences, but essentially still following the Chicago colorway. Now, uh, I've seen people with the white laces in them. I've seen people with the black laces. I've seen people just keep it straight out the box with the red. It works either way. For more character, I want the laces with the writing on them. I think that means a little bit more. And um, I'm cool with this. Plus, it's also a roll up for the Bread 11s that we all know is coming in um, a few weeks. So, if you got these, great. Wear them. Stop worrying about other people. Oh, I can't sell them. I'm stuck with it. I've seen it all out there on social media. Man, these are trash. Why are they trash? Great leather on these things. Look at that. Oh my goodness. The quality on that leather is incredible. Look at the toe box, man. Oh, ooh wee. You know, this is geriatric right there, man. That, that is geriatric. Shout out to my old people. But, yeah. Remember the old belts, you know, your granddaddy had sitting on the door on the back? Some of y'all got butt whippings from your grandparents. And the, the belt was like old and nice and work. that's how these these remind me of that i got a belt on my door in there too that reminds me a kind of cold belt that's very well made that has some leather like this and i was like man this this is awesome all right so i mean it's it's a traversy that these shoes are hanging around like that but I'm, I'm fine with that everybody can get a pair that's what it's all about now the light is bothering me i i gotta get used to these things i'm telling you all it's killing me but they work great in school because normally they have the lights down and it's a PowerPoint and I, I don't have the, the ceiling lights contrasting with the PowerPoint from the screen. You know, light from there projecting all that stuff. But um, Jumpman Bossick, he had posted something about the, uh, the gray 11s that are dropping, the light gray 11s. I forgot the exact name of those. They came out today, actually. If today is Monday, December 2nd, in case you're wondering when I did this video. He said, make sure you wear your shoes because he posted the 2003 version of those um, light gray 12s, pardon me, the light gray 12s. And I said, yeah, you're right. You know, make sure you wear your shoes is good for the shoe. I said, yeah, you're right. Because the leather and the glue needs to be manipulated, needs to be manipulated and they last longer. So not to be a hypocrite, I have to, I have started wearing a lot of my dead stock sneakers. I got sneakers in the closet over there because of that factor. I would hate to have a sneaker that I really, really like start to crumble on me prematurely. Now you're gonna have some yellowing with some of them, but I got my little packets in there and all that stuff. But I have rambled on enough. Let me know if you cop these. Um, just holla at me, y'all. Tell me what's going on. Everybody's been going crazy over the Fearless Pack and all that stuff. And um, a lot of disappointment with those uh, glittery Jordan 11s and um, yeah, I think they should have put a coating. Remember how the Barons were? The Baron 11s, they had the marbling then underneath the clear coat part of it. I think they should have done that because I've already heard reports of some women who had that shoe saying right here where the shoe typically creases that, you know, they got some glitter coming off and it's a nasty crease. But I've talked enough. Holla at me in the comment section. Let me know, has this been oversaturated? Are they doing too much? You know, well, people will say, well, I really don't want the Chicago anymore because I got all these redundant sneakers. You know how Jordan brand is, they get greedy. But comment down below, make sure you tap that notification button, comment, like, subscribe, share the video, all that good stuff. So you too can be a part of the Four Kids Brigade. You remember, it's not about how much you pay for the sneakers. Why'd you pay that much? I'm out of here. Boom. They weren't quick strike either. Welcome back to another episode of Hack My Life with the solution. Fellas, I gave the women advice. 
Now it's time for your advice. So how do you get a piece of that tax money? I encourage you to be on your best behavior. Stop hanging out late. And you too can get a piece of that tax money. You know she's just going to go to the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Vegas, South Beach. You're good for that PS4. Those Jordans. That old Crown Vic you want to hook up. Some rims. Those are yours for the taking. Until next time. Mind your business.